Hello everyone, welcome back once again to VIH Group YouTube channel. So today we are going to talk about APD10 which is called as the Chinese threat group which is on global espionage mission. So thank you for your great response on, on our previous video which was on APD27 and uh, that was called as one of the most active Chinese threat group. So that's why we come up with APD10 which was requested by few subscribers. So this will be a deep analysis video on APD10 and uh, as always credit goes to cyber cyware for the content credit and uh, let's begin so these are the couple of topics that we're going to cover today first we'll get through with the introduction part of apd10 what is it from where it was started when it was started and the current scenario then we'll move to attack method that are being used by the apt10 then the malware and tool which is widely used by apt10 in their campaigns then we'll know about some of their fam famous attack history then IOC which is called indicators of compromise then we'll know about how we can mitigate that specific uh, threat group and at last we'll go through with the conclusion so right now whole world is being threatened by the Chinese threat group so that's why I thought to create this specific that may be uh, come up with in India as well so this is the primary reason I guess so let's start with the introduction part so this specific threat group which is called advanced persistent threat which is a full form of apt so it was believed to be active from since 2006 and apt 10 is a chinese state sponsored cyber espionage group which is possibly connected to the chinese ministry of state security so this is the things that are being coming into the wider space this is uh, everyone says this is connected and most probably it is also connected because of some researches which was being connected from the US authorities and some other countries as well so it was indirectly connected to the Chinese uh, hacking group and their ministries because right now they are doing a global surveillance so in the later couple of years back in 2018 the group was reported snooping and stealing trade secret and technology from at least 12 countries. So at that time, multiple security agencies tracked the group with a different name, which was Minu Pass by FireEye. Means FireEye just given a name, which which was Minu Pass, and then CrowdStrike given this name, Stone Panda, and later on APT10 APT was given by the Mandiant, which is I guess is a Israeli company and uh, potassium was given by the microsoft and in the same year this year 2022 in june i guess uh, two months back the this group was observed using ransomware attack as well as a decoy to cover up its malicious activity which is an uncommon tactic to be used by the apt group so in most cases apt group are using ransomware because that are the most widely technique which is people come in that specific trip either from the server side or either from the client side so this was the overall introduction about uh, uh, apt10 now let's get into the thing the attack method that are being used by the apt10 so right now apt10 has been using traditional attack methods such as spear phishing the that that was starting in the initial phase when this group was born they were using the spear phishing attack and uh, as well as right now they are using the modern technique such as supply chain attack as well if you're not aware about what is supply chain attack just let me know uh, we'll create a small video on that specific topic as well so since 2009 the group has mostly been using lnk file within the archives and file with double extension in, the, in its spear phishing attack and also in some cases it use identically named decoy document and malicious launcher inside the same archives as well so in 2017 uh, three to four years back according to mandiant which is a israel company apt10 began hacking and accessing victims network through global service provider via sophisticated supply chain attack so this was being used at a specific time and the service provider usually have the significant access to the customer network that allows an attacker to move literally inside a compromised network and in fact more system so this was attack method that are being used from the apt10 in late 2017 
so they just get access of the global service uh, provider they guess into it and they started a uh, compromise and infect more systems so additionally this group is also known to be have dll hijacking and dll side loading to run a payload in memory and process hauling technique to remove code in an executable file and replace it with some malicious code as well later on uh, means in the same year 2017 the operation cloud hopper spread over 70 variant of backdoor malware and trojans using spear phishing emails and uh, the attack scheduled tasks or used services utilities to persist in windows system and further after a couple of uh, days they install malware and hacking tool to access system and steal data so in additional to this the apt10 was absorbed to abusing some trend flaws including proxy login and proxy cell and in exchange server which is of microsoft they have to target with victim and around mid 2022 it was seen in an attack campaign carrying a ransomware payload to hide its espionage related intention and manipulate security professional so it was apparently created sort like ransomware strain while targeting japanese and western organization to steal their intellectual properties by posing ransom so right now ip is the thing which is going to give a lot of money because ip is something called intellectual property and uh, intellectual property is something like suppose if you created some sort of uh, tool some sort of ransom variant so then you can just make it copyright for yours or for any organization then it will come up with a ip protected so if your system get ip protected then if someone is going to use that specific code and even in the upcoming days if they are going to create that same thing and they are just coming up into the market then they have to pay a lot of penalty to you so this is how ip works into the entire system there's a lot of companies those were arresting the ips and all those thing so this was the thing that was uh, the attack method that was being used by the apt10 from last 2017 to 2022 actually they were started in 2006 but active since 2017 now the last next point is the malware and tool that was being used So the APT10 gang has used various malware in its attack. At first, they were using IS. मतलब they are using all those things. But I am going to tell you the tool name. So if you want to have some research, you can find it on GitHub as well. Some repo from the website as well. Even you can request us on our social media. We'll give all this link to you. So the information stealer they are using is Scanbox. The rats they are using, which is remote access trojan, is Quasar, Plugas. P8 rat and puzzle v the backdoor data being used in their attacks are bug juice which is also named as red lips another backdoor is soda master another is heart tip snoo grid ham maker and uppercut the loaders that are being used by them is impact.ai chechis and a few more these are the name that i got from the internet The ransomware data being used by them is Rook, Panda, Atom Silo, Log File, and Night Sky. So these are a couple of tools, uh, or you can say malware that was. These are the malware that was being used from that specific uh, group. So malware is something uh, which is called uh, malicious software. So you can consider all those things as a malware. Okay. So. So there are a couple of tools as well that was being used by them was so that group has widely used range of tools in their attack campaigns as well the tool was uh, ad find set detail cobalt strike which is very much famous is it cac is satisfactory mimic as es ps exec power exploit web util span chillt tcping anti neodil cs bed and pw dump so these are the couple of tools that was being used by them was so you can find it on internet as well for the research purpose only and this video is always for educational purpose so anyway let's see about uh, some sort of attack history that was being covered by the apt10 so first one is uh, let's talk about some attribution at first 
So IPT10 is uh, somehow believed to have a strong connection with the Chinese state agencies and its operations are mostly aligned with the Chinese national interest. The group has participated in cyber attacks targeting the 2018 Olympics, which is considered one of the most perceived hack. So researchers identified numerous code fragments in the Olympic destroy malware and uh, ultimately linked it to the APD-10. And later on in September, a mysterious threat hunting group named as Intrusion Truth reported that APD-10 is associated with the Chinese intelligence agency and particularly Chinese Ministry of State Security. The report also named two Chinese individuals, Zhu Hua and Jiang Xilong, who was later charged with breaking into the network of more than 45 technology firms and some US government agency. So they were caught by the FBI or some law enforcement agency in the somewhere and US just caught all those things because they were attacked the US infrastructure. And uh, two years back in 2020, uh, the semantic uncover and attack campaign by CSADA targeting multiple Japanese organizations in the pharmaceuticals engineering and automotive sector as well as managed service provider eventually. It turns out that the same group that the US government agency has been tracking as APT-10. Later on in April 2022, uh, I guess yeah in April 2022, APT-10 activates overlapping with another threat group named as TA410. So the TA410 group was seen using an upgraded version of malware called Jolly Frog, which has been attributed to APT-10 by Fortinet. And moreover, another tool used by the TA410 called as Flowing Fro Frog and Share Network Infrastructure. And the dom domain was something like ffca.caib379.com with APT-10 Jolly's blog malware and providing further hints for a connection between the duo. So later on, as uh, told you earlier, the US federal agencies have been targeting APT-10 for targeting MSPs including HP which is called Havlet Packards, Enterprises and IBM and other IT companies across dozen states. So the most group mostly targeting aerospace, engineering, telecom firm and any government that is rival of Chinese regime. So additionally, the threat actors has targeted manufacturing companies located in India, Japan, North Europe. So this was the targeted region at that time and at present, it is often observed targeting South America and East Asia. So some a uh, common novel attack of the, this APT-10 was in between 2014 to 2018. So from 2014 to 2018, the group carried out an operation which is called Cloud Hopper, which was an extensive attack and theft of information directed at MSPs in the UK, US, Japan, Canada, Brazil, France, Switzerland, Norway, Finland, Sweden, South Africa, and India, Thailand, and South Korea, and Australia. So this was the common reason that was being targeted. So the group used MSP as the intermediaries to acquire a set and trade secret from MSP client engineers, industrial manufacturers, retail energy, pharmaceuticals, telecommunication and government agencies. So record of more than 130,000 US Navy personnel, including their social security number, date of birth and salaries were acquired by the cyber criminal. And around the end of 2018, it was revealed that Group 9 global service provider including IBM and HPE were compromised by this attack. So they are not leaving anyone, those who are coming in the track of Chinese government motives. So later on in 2019 to 2022, so in the mid of 2019, German software maker TeamViewer disclosed that it was targeted by the Chinese linked threat actors which was possible APT-10 back in 2016. So the same year, ADEO IT consulting services reported that APT-10 has a particular interest in Turkey, for which, which was targeted critical sectors such as financial and telecommunication. So over the next three years, the gro group carried out several attacks on various industries. Some of the notable ones are follows in 2022. So in 2022, a large-scale attack campaign targeted various Japanese organizations including 
subsidiary is located in 17 region worldwide and in 2021 the group targeted the IT system of two Indian vaccine makers whose coronavirus shot were used in the country of immunizing campaign. So they were mostly targeted the companies which were being located in India and those who were working for the what you say coronavirus vaccine making. So later on in the beginning of 2022 means this year uh, a Taiwan based uh, security agencies linked APD10 to attack exploiting a vulnerability in the security product that was used by around 80% of the organization in the Taiwan financial sector. So moreover, in uh, June 2022, the gang was found stealing intellectual properties from the Western and Japanese form using HUI loader to deploy remote access trojan. So these were the couple of attack history that was being uh, covered by APD10 and literally they are on a very big global espionage campaign. They are tar targeting US, Middle East countries, not Middle East, they are targeting US, they are targeting India and subcountry which has been associated. So moreover, um, enemy of India and US is always China. So that may be a reason. Anyway, they are always working for their interest. So now the next point is, yeah, these are the couple of topics. These are a couple of names which is being uh, associated with APD10. You can call it as the aliases of APD10. So first one is CSADA, Bronze, Starlight, Potassium, Manupas Group, Red Apollo, and written. Uh, yeah, Manupas is also called Manupas Group and Manupas. This is also called as APD10. Stone Panda, CNVX, and Cloud Hopper. So basically this name is being allocated to them because whenever suppose if any com company is founding some sort of threat group or advanced persistent threat group they are, then they are just giving the code name which is being uh, selected on the basis of pattern how they are attacking the methodology that are being used from their side the IPs that found the IOCs which is associated so this is how uh, they are coming up with a name which is uh, associated like in potassium was given by the Microsoft menu pass were given by I guess of uh, FireEye or Mendiant I guess so the next thing is the targeted sector and region so these are a couple of countries the region which are being targeted first one is the uh, Eastern Europe Africa North America Western Asia Eastern Asia and Western Europe so these are the six region which are being getting targeted the sector which are getting targeted is aerospace, construction, government and telecom because these are the uh, you say uh, region sectors which is widely helpful for growing any country. Now the next topic is IOCs. Yeah, this is the couple of IOCs that we need to keep it into our mind. So IOC is something called indicators of compromise. So these are the keys that was being found in that specific attack type. So these are the SSH A1 tokens, these are the MD5 hashes. Later on, this is the SSH, SHA256 codes and this is the IPs which was being associated with that specific uh, hacking group which was found during the attack. This is the SHA1 IOC and this is the file name which is being mostly found at the time of starting that specific attack. Now the mitigations, yeah, this is very much important. We need to understand uh, some sort of mitigations to, so that we can come up with some sort of solution and how exactly we can prevent our system from this specific uh, attack type. So in this APD10, spear facing is one of the oldest and primary attack method used by the APD10. And therefore, organizations are suggested to provide training to their employees on identifying and responding to the phishing emails. The group is well versed in using a wide range of malicious tools, a multi-layered approach to our security along with the behavior based anti-malware solutions could be an effective strategy as the initial line of defense. So further, to limit external access to the devices, implement a strong access control for the users, maintain effective endpoint security and enable effective long file for the device's system and the application. But that isn't enough. 
in a hyper connected world of devices to protect them so keep the equities growing sophistication in mind it urges for the holistic security program that is threat intelligence driven and automation enabled so security team need to leverage real time threat intelligence to stay aware of changing tactics of the threat in the current thriving cyber attack landscape so such as the cyber security strategy has been improving threat prediction and producing actionable and positive outcome so if you want some detail on how we, you can create your own threat uh, intelligence uh, architecture how to capture some real time threat intelligence and then just let us know we can create some sort of new things on that as well even we are having couple of product which is being related to real time threat intelligence analysis on the network as well and there are something which is for the uh, practice of spear phishing and phishing campaign as well so we provide some sort of free program and training for the industries if you want just let us know it's free <laughs> you don't have to pay now it's time for the conclusion so yes apt10 has been successfully operating for the more than a decade and is still active with the new exponents operations which indicates the continuous effort made by its operation to keep its active and hidden so further it uses a vast range of tool set including multiple malware to carry out attacks pointing towards the wide range of skills and availability of resources so apt10 just like the other chinese based entities target entities that are aligned in the geopolitical interest of the nation yeah china so if any com- country is going to come in the geopolitical interest of china then china will be going to come up with some sort of attack method will come up with some sort of hacking group which is going to target it but china is always called as a push country <laughs> so anyway they are doing such a <laughs> good job or bad or whatever you feel in the cyber space but countries are coming up with some sort of strategical movement awareness is only the method by which we can prevent if you want awareness training just let us know we provide awareness training for for free as well and you just have to pay us a cup of coffee yeah exactly which will cost you around 10 to 20 rupees or might be one or two or three or four dollars so yeah this is also you can invite us and we'll provide you the free uh training on cyber awareness how you can protect your organization and all those things so yeah thank you very much for watching our video this is a social media profile here you can follow us on social media which is instagram youtube facebook and linkedin this is a website you can visit for some sort of resources so this is m kumar thank you very much for watching this video we are signing off jai hind